Hey everyone, so we have a major announcement for Gamers Nexus. We're getting an office, a proper office, that allows us to expand our technical depth a lot, do way more technical testing, because we're completely out of space. And up until this point, I've been running it out of my house for 10 years now. We have multiple employees, we have a lot of test machines, so we gotta solve the problem. But the office is going to have a moving in vlog, and this will be part one. And as part of part one, I would like to demonstrate to you now how and why we are completely out of space and why we actually need the uh, office. Before that, this video is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club's Daily Essentials Starter Set. This full grooming kit ships at $5 and includes trial-sized versions of the company's popular shave butter, body wash, and wipes, and also includes a solid, high-quality razor and a full set of cartridges. Go to dollarshaveclub.com slash gamersnexus to get the Daily Essentials Starter Kit for just $5 and with free shipping, or click the link below. It's a quick cut to this video to interject something else. I debated a lot whether I wanted to include this part of the video because it's a bit more personal. I don't like sharing that. I don't think it really has a place on the channel. My vision of Gamers Nexus is that it's like strictly coverage of stuff on in the hardware world, and that shouldn't involve uh, personal things, but this is a pretty special occasion for us. Moving an office is a much greater step than any of you can ever imagine for us, uh, and it's for a lot of reasons. So I knew what the comments would have been like. We, we owe it to everybody, especially I owe it to myself to do a full tour of this place before we tear it all down, because, I mean, I've spent 10 years building a business here. And I started as just a website by myself, and I ran it by myself for years and years, and we hired people, and so just historically, we owe it to everybody, and viewers especially, to do the tour. But I knew that the comments would be uh, a lot more, a lot less understanding than they should be if I didn't give context to why we're operating the way we are. So despite not wanting to give this context publicly necessarily, it's worth it. I think later on, when I watch this in 15 years or whatever, I'll be glad I did it. But I just I kinda wanna say, like, I, I hesitate to put this part out there, but we're gonna do it anyway, because it is a special occasion, and hopefully most of you watching are, are really into the stuff we do. So, all right, so first, first major thing here, I was originally looking at offices about three years ago, and was supposed to move into one around then. We had a few good options, nothing nearly as good as what we can move into and afford now, of course. It's not extravagant what we're doing now, but the point is, the size difference would have been substantial if I moved somewhere three years ago. But I had to assume payments for this house, from my mom's house, because my dad died. And so uh, because of that, it, it was rather unexpected. Because of that uh, extra hurdle to get around, obviously I gave up the search for an office because three years ago I was getting to a point where I was like, you know, it's time, time to do this, time to really get moving, get out of here, do my own thing, grow the business and just push. And it worked out pretty well, all things considered. But I just wanted to say, you know, there's, there's a reason we've been here so long. And I basically I took over the payments for everything and made sure everyone was as comfortable as they could be given the circumstances. So that was my promise I made to him was that I would take care of all of this and make sure that he had nothing to worry about. So that's, that's the context I wanted to provide because I knew otherwise people are gonna look at like how crowded it is in the rooms and how there's personal stuff mixed with business stuff and there's a lot of my personal stuff. And they're gonna comment on it without really understanding why it's there. And the point is it's because all this was unexpected. We didn't expect to be here, to be stuck here. And so we had to grow into the space and we'll do the whole tour in a minute, but this is important. Uh, had to grow into the space. Had, if you've ever grown a business out of your house where you live, the business consumes everything. It starts taking over every, every single spot in the house, every, everything in your life. And that's fine. I, I like it. I welcome it. And it's what I enjoy. But uh, the point is that you start pushing kind of your stuff further and further to the perimeter of things as you move business stuff in, especially in a business where our job is to receive things and then work with them. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was the big holdup. 
and I wanted to provide the contacts, and I, that is the, the start and end of the contacts I will provide. So appreciate anything you might say, but it's, it's okay. It was a while ago. We're good. Uh, so I just wanted to, to get that out there. Um, so next major thing. I had to put notes down because it's been a long time. We start with just one room. It's the room you'll see in a bit in the production room where in this video, I already filmed it obviously, Patrick and Keegan are working in there in this video. So that's the production room. It all started there. It was just me. Maybe I'll go find some B-roll clips or something. Just me and total mess in there, of course. And because uh, I've always had a space issue, what we want anymore. And I would build systems on the floor. And that's how I would do my reviews. Uh, most of the stuff, I mean, I'm not going to do the whole history of GN right now. But as we start getting products in, I'd work with it on the floor. And eventually, I upgraded. And the upgrade was to buy a folding table, like a card table, and put it in the corner of that room where there was no space for that. But it's better than building on the floor. So it was like the first major upgrade. And at some point, I was like, you know what? That needs a white tablecloth on it because all the black components aren't showing up with my garbage camera. So I needed contrast, and that's how I created it. Eventually, the dresser was pulled out. My dresser was pulled out of there and uh, got a training table. And I put it in, uh, just like a work table. And that was a major expansion for us. And these things start to click. You start going, wow, I, I could see how this could get really fun to, to like expand and have like dedicated spaces for everything. I really like this. Let's do more of it. And uh, so I think, what's the timeline from here? That was my first big set upgrade, so to speak. What are the next upgrades after that? So when I pulled the dresser out and put that training table in, that's where Keegan began to come in and regularly edit. Previously, he had just done trade shows with me maybe once or twice. Now he does them all the time. So that's around when he really started contributing. About a year later, Andrew joined the team in a fuller capacity, about uh, probably part-time to start, full-time later. And at that point, we started moving. I was forced to add another work table. So we pulled more of my stuff out, put it in boxes, put it on whatever shelves around the room, and just pushed it all to the perimeter, put another work table in. After this, uh, we expanded into the room that we're in right now, this one. And uh, the to my right, there was my dresser, a big armoire, basically. And we put in a card table next to it, the same one, because that apparently deserved <laughs> to be kept. Put that next to it, put a gray sheet on this wall before we realized, oh, just paint it, it won't look stupid. And that was the set. And I think even bought like a light. I think that's kind of the, the route we took. So after this move, we made a big move to build our wood wall, which is over there still. And it's rather simple, but it was actually really critical. And a lot of people really liked it. Some people thought it was just kind of lame or boring. And I, I agree with both of you. I really liked it. I agree that it's bland. But it was critical to what we do because that was another moment when I put that wall in after working on it with Patrick Stone, still he's helping us with this office, working on it with Patrick Stone late one night and put it up and I was just so happy to have it there because this, it was like partly a symbol, this, I think I accelerated the timeline a bit, but partly, so that was the first thing that went in after uh, my dad passed away. First thing that made major thing I did to change because that's when I kind of realized given the circumstances of then where you're like panicking, like how do I get enough money <laughs> to make sure everyone's comfortable in the family? Um, so you go into overdrive and like, okay, I need, I need to overhaul everything. I need a set. I need a space I can work. And this is the video space and that's it. That's all it is. The lights never move. Camera doesn't move. That's what it does. It does one thing and it's sit here and be ready for me to shoot a video. So that was the, like the, we need to we need to go it's go time uh put the wall in made me really happy just to have a spot to go to shoot videos and i think from there it just started snowballing we got a lot of support time and time again from all the videos we launched this room eventually got a test bench added to it over there you'll see it in this video if you haven't already and about a year later uh after all this patrick lathan joined the team full-time programming and testing and writing for us. And so at that point, we were forced to take over the last room we had available for work. Like the last the last room that I could use for work uh, and still have separate bedrooms, basically. So 
that one is only half full. It's filled with like other storage, house storage, stuff like that. So really we have two and a half rooms is what you're going to see here. And it's got personal stuff in it. And I would ask that you just be respectful because like, I really don't want to do the tour in some ways, but I really want to because it's so important to me to show where we came from. For myself, when I look back later, I just realized I, I'm missing a light. Sorry, should have put that light on. Uh, for myself and also for everyone else who's been with us a long time, I, I think we just owe it to everyone to see what, where we came from. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. Be Please uh, be respectful of the house that we're going to walk through. And then we'll show the new office. I'm really excited to show you all. And uh, I'm going to stop wasting everyone's time. This is going to be a long video just because of this segue, but it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, let's let's get back into the main cut with, with the light that I forgot to turn back on. So our video set room isn't even a dedicated set room. We have a couple test benches in here. We have this one. This is the longest standing bench in GN history that's still operational. It's our cooler bench, and it's about six feet away from where I stand for the videos. So. There's testing equipment in the same room as the video equipment. There are lights everywhere. As you saw, that gag at the beginning, it's not just a gag. I, I literally have to duck under the lights to navigate through the room. It's a problem. If Patrick comes in here to tear down a system on the test bench table or the live stream table, then we have to schedule around that to make sure we can still film on the same day. So this is not us expanding to be extravagant. We're not overspending. We're getting a space that's exactly perfect for our needs and won't put us any under any pressure. I want to make sure we're all clear on this. It does not put us under any editorial pressure to change our type of content. In fact, it will make the content better. I'm sure you hear that a lot. In this case, it's definitely true because if I want to do cooler testing, I have the bench here. But then if I want to change like fan testing or power supply testing, something has to be torn down. And that restricts us significantly on what we can do. That's why fan testing hasn't happened yet. That's why power supply testing hasn't happened yet. We do not have the space. So this is like the old tool wall that I put in for one of our uh, contractors who's done work for us, Mike. He wanted a tool wall. So it was a big deal to put that in. He wanted uh, this fold out bench, which has also been great. So we put that in and that's currently kind of set up for fan testing. But as you can see, it's, it's basically inaccessible because there's a light there. So I have to move the light to get to that bench, which then means that there's now a slight delay in shooting a video because the light's not where it should be. So there are a lot of problems here. And the other thing, let's just, can we show the uh, test, the stream setup on the floor under the bench? Sorry for the camera shake. This is a hard shot for Andrew. He's got to bend down. So that's our, uh, one is storage. And two, that's the live streaming computer. So this enters another problem with our current setup. We want to do more live streams. People love them. I really enjoy doing them. We get a lot of viewers and it's, it's just fun. But to do a live stream right now requires like two hours on either end of the stream to set up and tear down. And we can just make this part of the video too. <laughs> so uh, part of the problem with that is, yeah, I've got to haul monitors in from over there, another room, bring them in here, put two monitors on the table, build the system under the table, put a bench where the fan testing stuff is, which means I have to move all that stuff. And so that whole process is like two hours just to do a stream. So the stream better damn be like four hours, otherwise it's not worth it. Uh, and now we're going to be moving into a place where we'll have the A-roll set dedicated in its own spot and next to it a streaming set dedicated in its own spot. And we won't have to tear stuff down, including test benches like this one or that one when we want to do videos. So this is just one room. We have three rooms in this house, plus uh, storage, like all the cases. If you wonder where the cases go, up until the point that I get rid of them, they go up in the attic, basically. The, uh, we've got, I don't know, it's just every square inch is taken. So we have three rooms that we kind of work out of, two that are fully dedicated to GN, and uh, those rooms are not that big. They're small bedrooms. So that's part of the problem that we're dealing with. And this, the, we'll show a teaser clip of the office now, I guess, but, or sometime in this intro, but the office video, we'll show you how that's going to work out. There's just basically a giant room that'll be just for video and then separate places for testing, things like that. So we really nice to compartmentalize stuff, but I mean, there's no floor space anymore. There's no anything space. Uh, so this is the main room. This is where videos have been shot. 
since probably about 2014 or 15. Up until then, everything was out of one room. And I'll give you, at some point in this video, I might edit it myself, but I'll do a quick GN history walkthrough of all our sets and things like that, because I'm the only one who's been here for 100% of them. So I'll go back and find some old videos and show you what it used to look like. But uh, anyway, let's go look at the other two rooms. We have the main production room, and then we have like the kind of spare room where case testing happens and where currently uh, we have a temporary test or uh, actually video editing setup where there should be a testing setup, but it's impermanent because of how little space we have. So let's go check out the production room. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Okay, so this is the main production room. You've seen it in a few videos. Typically, it's just me in here showing like a video card shelf over there or something, but uh, Patrick's in here. Hi, Patrick. Keegan's in here editing the other, the second part of the video. You're watching part one now. So that's the second part. That's There's your teaser of the office. So yeah, main production room. Um, problems here, same problems. Basically, benches have to be torn down all the time to make space. Uh, Patrick's setup is kind of another impermanent one where we've got like a test bench there and a capture system over there in the shelf and then working off a laptop. Uh, so we want to actually have like a, a permanent workstation instead of that. And then this bench constantly gets torn down for different tests, which with the new office, we'll be able to actually have like multiple tables and test benches. So they don't have to get torn down all the time. And we can actually keep them built to produce content more rapidly and with greater depth. So that's a big deal for us with the office move. But to give you a quick tour of this one, I guess we have like main original test bench platform here, plus whatever's being tested at the time, you know, current clamp, rubbing alcohol, the necessary tools. Then we have another test bench over there. We have a, uh, the NAS right here, which is kind of in pieces right now. And then basically the way it ends up working is if like three people are in, we can't have four people in this room. So that's a problem. And if three people are in this room and say someone's here working and I'm here working and Keegan or Andrew, they're working. The chairs are almost literally touching each other. So yeah, there's your your square footage between the chairs is pretty minimal. Inhibits movement, big kind of annoyance. There's just, we just don't have anywhere to put stuff at this point. And then this is the video card shelf, which you've seen before. So yeah, I mean, video card shelf, capture system, CPUs, RAM, all that stuff. Uh, so we'll be able to organize that more efficiently in the future. But basically this room is like, Test bench, test bench, render machine, uh, capture machine, plus GPU, CPUs, RAM, and, which are difficult to access if someone's working here and someone's working here. Um, production system for me. And I guess that pretty much covers the room. So pretty small. So we go over to the last room now. But um, yeah, production systems are just, we, we need more space for them, as is evidenced by single screen setup for me, even though it's an ultra wide. So this is part of the problem right now cases in the hallway, parts in the hallway, because uh, these are either ready to go into the attic or at this point, it's just a mess because we're gonna move anyway, so might as well just wait. Uh, and it's also a mess because it was basically storage and now it's become storage and working space because we needed a few things. We needed a build station for Patrick to work on building on building systems when he couldn't use the set room. So that's what this was originally, plus power supply testing. Uh, Keegan was working on an Ask GN on here. So he's got the Ask GN questions up. So you can see we've got like basically what was supposed to be just a build station plus power supply testing, which got set back for the fire issue also, became a laptop that's docked for an editing station when we have too many people here and we just can't physically fit four people in the other room. So that meant we lost our new build station. Obviously, that's a problem. This is the case testing bench. So um, yeah, the case test bench components are here right now. And whenever we build the system, these go in the other room or they go there to the build station if we can clear it off. And then the case that gets tested goes right here and gets tested. So um, there's a liquid cooling shelf, all the CLCs that we've tested recently, and uh, thus presents yet another one of the issues of storage. So, you know, this is a, a problem where we basically once a month, I'll spend a lot of time organizing everything. I haven't done it for the last two months because we're moving. So what's the point? And 
uh, my hope is that I won't have to do all that time organizing if we just have a ton of shelves and work tables so that stuff can uh, find a place without having to play Tetris every time we need to move things around. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much, it's pretty much the room, the spare halfway used room. So that's what we're dealing with. That's why we're moving. I figured, I don't know, for one sentimental, two historical, and three practical reasons, figured we'd show where we are now. It'd be nice to say this is what we came from and for like 10 years. And uh, also just to make sure everyone's on the same page, because I've seen the comments when Jay's moved, when Linus has moved, when Kyle's moved, I've seen all the comments. I know what the narrative is and just so we're all on the same page, hopefully it's clear now, we need to have a proper space to work. This is just like it, it was easier to manage the organization and the stuff we had when we weren't getting stuff in every single day from manufacturers or from Amazon or whatever for work. And uh, there's so much stuff coming in now that we don't even have space for a swap space to like put stuff in that's coming in and stuff that's going out to, to get rid of it and make space. There's just, there's, can't work anymore uh, with that, with this amount of space. So, and this shelf was like a last ditch effort to get some more space in. It helped a lot, but we need more than that. And clearly we've got like, I get rid of cases all the time. Uh, I get rid of cardboard boxes as soon as they arrive, all that stuff. But uh, there's just too many projects going on at once. And here's the other thing. It's not just how much stuff we have, because we can get rid of that. It's how much stuff we have that's pending review. And if we have more test benches set up, this isn't a, the, the solution to our problem is not, well, you should just get rid of some of that stuff because that doesn't work. One, the things that we have make us money by making reviews, stuff like that. Two, the amount of stuff that needs to be reviewed can't, it just, it can't go out the door until we're done with it. And I can get done with stuff faster if I have a lot of test benches set up next to each other. So my hope is to have like eight or 10 of them set up, ready to go at, any, at a moment's notice and test the component, do the review and get it out the door or keep it if we want to keep it for some reason. So yeah, uh, check back for part two to see what the office will look like. We've just, we just shot a video that you saw Keegan was working on in this one. Uh, that'll show the office empty before we move stuff in. And then we're going to do a moving vlog while we move stuff in, wire it up for Cat 6, all that stuff. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting us over the last 10 years. For those of you who've been here a long time, I'm curious to see how, when you found us. If you remember, post a comment below and say kind of what subscriber count we were at at the time that you started watching our videos or subscribing, or if you were here before we even did YouTube, because there was a website long before we did just YouTube. Uh, content on a daily basis and now we try to balance them but if you've been around a long time let us know just curious thank you for watching subscribe for more go to store.gamersnexus.net to support us directly you can pick up a mod mat they are in stock and shipping now and you can also pick up one of our posters if you want a video card anatomy poster for home it shows things like mosfets and doctors all that stuff and by the way the store has been a huge part of the reason we've been able to actually make this move and grow properly. So uh, thank you to all of you who have purchased items there to support us directly or patreon.com slash gamersnexus through that route. Subscribe for the next parts. I'll see you all next time.